Good afternoon. I'm here with Mr. Rohan Bechu. Mr. Rohan Bechu, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing fine, thank you, Andy. How are you? I'm great. It's always a pleasure interviewing somebody of your caliber. I'm just here to get some information from you so the people out there in the social media world can actually learn and actually be motivated by this interview. I thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to meet me in Jersey City this afternoon. You're quite welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Ryan. Uh, where are you from, exactly? I'm actually from Mara, Barbies, Guyana. Okay. No. It's a little village in Guyana. All right, all right. Um, what I want to know is, why did you become a personal trainer? I know in Guyana they play cricket and you know, they have all these other sports, but out of everything, you you selected to become a personal trainer. Why why did you become a personal trainer? Well, it wasn't that I became. Per I was I was an athlete first. I was a you know I represented Guyana in 800 meters in track, and I was a boxer. So after finishing up those things, those that career, it was a natural transition to train people and coach people. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Which which teams? If if it's a coach, a question to ask you. Uh, which teams did you actually work for? Okay, yeah. So I started with the New York Yankees. That was my first team. Spent five seasons with them. I went to the Houston Astros. Spent six years there. Then I came back to the Mets. And I spent two years there. I also worked with, uh, as a consultant with the Rockies and uh, the Rangers. Wow. In yeah. yeah, you have a uh, long resume there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what uh, athletes? Is it? Is it? Can I? Is it still kosher to ask you these questions? I mean, what, what athletes did you work with? Well, you, the names of some of these guys. Yes, if you can. Well, everyone on, the, on, on these teams during the time I was there, and you can, that's public knowledge. So, if you're on the team, I was, you know, officially bound to work with you. But the, the guys that I had like special relationships, if that's what you're asking, is probably guys like definitely Andy Pettit, Roger Clemens, Roy Oswald, Carlos Beltran. And let's leave it right, you know, I can't leave him out, you know, good guys. Yeah, all okay, great gentlemen. guys. Yeah, great yes, guys, yes, nice yes, people. Yes, Everyone yes. on those teams have been great. Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah. judging yeah. from you, all your friends has to be no. in Hall of Famers, because you, you, you have an attitude as a Hall of Famer. Yeah. I noticed oh, thank you. Yeah, from our previous conversation, you have about maybe five rings with the New York Yankees and uh, the, the well, all together. Yeah, we went correct? to the World Series. I came on at the right time, man. We, we worked at the, we went to the World Series four times. Uh -huh. We won it three times, and of course the D-backs beat us in 2001. And then with the Astros, we made it to World Series, and the White, uh, yeah, the White Sox, not the Sox. Awesome, awesome. awesome. I got awesome. five rings, yeah. Total. Five, wow. wow, I don't even have any. <laughs> uh, I notice, you know, you're such a humble uh, person that you're not even wearing one of them, which 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 bodes well for your uh, your humility, which I respect very much. And um, you know that's why I'm doing this interview because. You know, humility is, is in my book. These are the people that I respect very much. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, what was your biggest challenge tra training these athletes? Um, biggest challenge, I'd say, uh, getting these guys. Uh, they're all professional guys to begin with, and highly motivated individuals. But um, I would say you'd have to get them to buy into the program. Once they bought into the program that you you've designed for them. And you show them how their career will be better. The sky is the limit for them because they're all self-motivated guys. Also, awesome. they want to be better. Yeah. Awesome. What can you say to the average person that's watching this interview right now that is in the same field that you are in, the fitness field? Mm -hmm. What message can you send out to them? Well, first of all, find your passion in life. Just whether it's sports, physics, math, whether acting, whatever it is, find your passion. Whatever you like, or whether you want to be a janitor, it doesn't matter. Do that to the best of your ability, and awesome. show some love for it. Awesome. Uh, what is what is your long-term vision going forward, Mr. Mr. Bacher? Well, from being from Guyana, I've done accomplished enough that I've set out to accomplish here in America. So I want to go back there and share some of my knowledge, some of the things I've learned here with the less privileged athletes, especially in the rural areas, Georgetown, of course, too, but. You know, just spread out around the country and just share knowledge with the coaches and the athletes and see how we can get them to develop better. Awesome. Anywhere awesome. in the world, you know. Awesome. This is actually uh, the day before the official uh, spring training uh, camp opening up tomorrow. So, uh, once again, I want to I thank you very much for coming out here in Georgia City and doing this interview for me on behalf of Exodus Andy. Right. I want to thank you very much and uh, let's hope we can do a few more during the season.
Thank you, and have a good afternoon. You're quite welcome. My pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.